So all the stuff in the scriptures is coming to pass. All the prophecies are coming to pass. Everything that's written is coming to pass. That's why it's important to know what the scripture says and who the scriptures are for. The scriptures are written for, to, and about Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham, God's chosen people. Jesus came to save them from their sin. It's 12 tribes. And all 12 tribes are scattered to the four, earth, four corners of the earth. The first 10 tribes were scattered first. And then the second two tribes, Judah and Benjamin, were scattered during the Atlantic slave trade. And we're scattered to every other nation in the earth, Judah and Benjamin. We're everywhere. So when Jesus comes back, he's coming back for his chosen people that believe the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom is for Israel. Salvation is for Israel. Jesus came to die for the sins of Israel. He rose on the third day, and he's seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's coming back to gather his people from the four corners of the earth. He's going to send his angels to gather us. But before all this happened, the stuff that's happening with these seals have to happen first. The fourth angel, the fourth horse is going to come with death and hell and you're going to see plagues you're going to see people getting killed with hunger and death and with the beasts of the earth it's not going to be a pretty sight you got to understand everything in the scripture is going to come to pass the same way things was when we were in egypt the first time and the lord delivered us the same thing's going to happen the Lord is going to deliver his people a second time out of bondage. All of God's people, all the 12 tribes, we're all in the land of our captivity. We're all scattered. We were brought over here in slave ships. We didn't come over here of our, of our own free will. So we're still in the land of our captivity. We're scattered according to scripture. The scripture said that was, was what was going to happen to us. And that's what happened to us. He said, you're going to go back to Egypt again in ships. The land of bondage is Egypt. Here in America and wherever else, all of Israel is scattered. We're in the land of captivity. He said that Jesus was saying to uh, the southern kingdom of Judah and Benjamin, you're going to fall by the edge of the sword. He was talking about the destruction of Jerusalem. He said, you're going to fall by the edge of the sword, and you're going to be led away captive into all nations. That's what happened to us. We was led away captive into all nations. We're in the land of our captivity, even to this day. And we're going to be here until the Lord Jesus comes back. The ruling class are the Japhet Gentiles and Edomites. They were ruling during the days of the Lord Jesus, and they're going to rule until he comes back. The rest of that verse says that Jerusalem should be trodden down of the Gentiles. The Gentiles are the Japhet Gentiles, mentioned in Genesis chapter 10. They're the ruling class people on the earth, the northern European Russia, America, those European nations. They are the Japhet Gentiles, the ruling class. He said Jerusalem would be trodden down by them. So the people over in the land called the nation of Israel are not God's chosen people. They are Gentiles. They are Ashkenaz, Khazarians, Japhet Gentiles, and Edomites who have taken over the land by fraud and deceit. And Jesus said they're going to rule until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. The times of the Gentiles will not be fulfilled until the Lord Jesus comes back. So they've stolen the Hebrew Israelites of the seed of Abraham. They've stolen our identity. That's why we don't know who we are. Because <laughs> we think the people over in the land called the nation of Israel, we think they're Israel. But they are not. 
The scripture said they are of the synagogue of Satan. They say that they are Jews and they do lie. So God's chosen people are scattered to the four corners of the earth. And so Jesus is coming back to gather us. But again, before that happens, these seals have to be opened. And all of the destruction that goes along with these seals has to take place. And it's getting ready to happen right before your very eyes. Verse 9. 